Hi, Damp Sam here, and uh, today I'm just going to do an unboxing of this PIV unit. So um, it's all taped up. Um, Sovereign Chemicals Limited Auto Concure Unit. So it says unbox here. Um, I must put it this way around. Unboxing, there you go. So. We'll flip it open and we'll see what we get. Top of the box, you've got um, these lats. Plastic wrapper. And what happens with these is, these lats is what the unit sits on. And there's like, um, you see inside, there's a couple of notches inside what, what slip under there, and they've got these, um, these pads to stop any, any noise. Stop it rattling on here. Like diffuser pads. Damper pads, that's what I'm looking for. That like a damper pad. So you only sits on here. I mean it, it, it they're really quiet anyway. And uh, this just reduces any impact sound. I'll put them there. Next that comes out is uh, your instruction books and a template. So we put like two different types of booklet in. So you've got one that explains the unit and then you've got one that, that tells you how to fit it. it tells you all specifications and everything radon dispersion it's good for dispersing radon gas so that's them too um, this is your this is operating manual and instructions for fitter but also at, at back this is what we fill in and uh, it's for a guarantee warranty so that gets sent off to Sovereign and we get a five year guarantee. This is the template that I ran about in that last video. So you can either do it two ways. So you can either screw that to the wall and then fit it that way and draw, draw a circle. screw these holes in. What I like to do, I put a screwdriver through, which I've done up there. Take this out, this hole. Put that over the screwdriver, up to the ceiling, and then just draw around it with a, with a pencil, take it down, and then cut it out with a um, pad saw, or jigsaw, or something like that. Long hair. <laughs> got a long hair in here, a black long hair. Good to see it. Fitter. Uh, little bag that's got inside some tape. When you put your when you put your um conduit on you put these tie wraps all over and then and then on top you put this uh, this insulating tape wrap that round it stop any any air getting through seal it up Put them to one side there. 
you've got some plugs for fitting diffuser but we don't I, don't, I never use them, I just use self tapping screws. You've even got screws in here. You've got screws that will screw them battings down onto joists up in the loft. And you've got some smaller screws for screwing diffuser. Uh, they're not self tappers, you can use them if you want, but uh, we just use, we buy our own self tappers. Now, they, these white bits. For now, because I'll, I'll show you how to take this other bit out. But uh, you've got your fuses for electrician, right? So, this bit is your diffuser, which you cut your hole out in the ceiling that sits up, up top, and this will. it a bit more but it has got three settings on it so but that just allows you to have it open if you want now these these are blanking plates and they fit just into the top of the uh, I don't know. and what these blanking plates are for in case you've got if you've got a, fire, um, a smoke alarm here, you'd fit them three blanking plates so, so air flows that way. Or if it's near a wall or something like that. So you can fit these blanking plates. We don't have any problems in here. So we'll, 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 we'll not use them. Let's stick that down here. Next out is your conduit. And this conduit goes over the top of that, and then so it comes out and goes into the unit. I'll show you where it goes into the unit. That gets pulled over um, the uh, elliptical shape of the end of the unit. And you stretch it over and then tie wraps go over it and it's sealed with, seal, with insulating tape. So that goes down there, like that. Top of that, insulate, uh, tie wrap across around there, then insulating tape. Put that on one side. These are the other bits for. That's a heated enable, so that's for a uh, heat exchanger. You leave that on. If the temperature drops below five degrees, I think it's five degrees or three degrees, then heat exchanger will kick in, and the 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 air that's pumped out will be ten degrees, which is ambient temperature, which is good because that means that. Temperature inside property is going to stay at 10 degrees, so it's not going to be below freezing. So, if it's an empty property, you're not going to get the pipes freezing up and busting. So, uh, that's another reason why these are good units. They're good for holiday cottages, places that's left empty for a while. Uh, put that down there. And then you've got the actual unit itself, which is that so you've got the front bit that this gets stretched over 
straight, you pull this open and then it's stretched wide and it tie wraps all the top round and that's stretched on up in loft. Tie wraps go round it and then insulating tape quite a few times, stretched round, seal it. We've got Sovereign Auto Concure, um, serial number ACV. Oh, around this side, you've got the, the screen. You've got a little digital display here that um, that shows one of the one or two of these different um, numbers. So you've got P1, it's a small, P2, medium, P3, large, that's for your settings, three different size properties, small, medium and large. P4 boost, if you need a boost, if you need to, if you need to kick in. Uh, recovery one and recovery two, and um, above twenty five degrees, above twenty degrees, below twenty degrees, below ten degrees. So you, these points are little flashing lights. So when you come up, you can read that. And you can look at your manual. Um, when it's turned on, <coughs> it takes a it takes a while to just calibrate itself and, 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 and set itself in. These are the, I don't know if you can see them. These are the grooves that the, the screws fit into. And you can, what, 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 which way I can use. That way, the bottom going there, and then that goes across the joist, so the joist facing that way, and then we screw them into the joist, into the joist, and then just tighten these up. Just tighten these up just to keep it in place. This white thing on top, full of long pairs. White thing on top is the filter, and this can be changed. We said to change it every five years. It's got like a velcro strip on in here. Once velcro strip, uh, it just rips off. You can get a replacement one, and that can go on in case it gets monkey. Clean air comes in here. It's filtered, stops any impurities uh, getting through, and then clean air is. Pumped out here via a motor and then via a diffuser, which is here, which is that way up, and then that comes out that way at ceiling height. Warm air rises up and mixes with this cooler air, so you don't you don't feel that difference. But then you've got constant clean air coming into property at that height, and then air circulates, and it. Because it's coming in 24-7, it's constantly coming in, it's called positive pressure. The air circulates on, around the walls, so it, it warms up these surfaces too. And that air will push all the way down, so you don't get dead pockets of air, which is in this corner. Or these corners at the tops of the walls. I think I've more or less covered everything. Um, one last thing is when you before you fit it underneath there's a little sticker why they put it underneath I don't know why they don't just put it on front um, where where it can be seen um, this is you need this for filling your application form for your guarantee. So what we normally do is take a photo of that and then fill it in later. But if you forget, it's a right ball here because you fitted it and it's like that. So then you end up having to 
unscrew everything and take it all out. Um, with the sovereign, put it here instead of putting it on bottom. I don't know why, why it's on, on bottom. But just remember to take that photo and fill it in on the application form. So I think that's everything. So this is a PIV on it and it's going to get fitted. And, uh, and this house will be black mold free. That's Damp Sam signing off. If you want to see more videos, please subscribe and uh, get some free damp books, ebooks on our website, alldrydampproofing.com. And uh, send us your questions. All right, bye-bye.